Durham wheat or macaroni wheat is the only tetraploid species of wheat of commercial importance that is widely cultivated today. It was developed by artificial selection of the domesticated emma wheat strains formerly grown in Central Europe and the Near East around 7000 BC, which developed a naked, free threshing form. Durum in Latin means hard, and the species is the hardest of all weeds. Its high protein content, as well as its strength, make durum good for special uses, the most well known being pasta, which in Italy is exclusively made from durum wheat. Durum wheat is used extensively in bread making. However, it is unusual in that, despite very high protein content, it is low in desirable gluten needed to form a glutinous web necessary for bread to rise. As a result, although 100% durum wheat breads do exist, such as Pagna Dna or Ramassinato bread from Sicily, as well as others, in most instances bread doughs contain only a portion of durum wheat and are supplemented substantially with commercial white flours, often those higher in gluten necessary to offset the poor gluten contribution of durum flour. When durum flour is used as the sole flour in bread, substantial additions of isolated wheat gluten are necessary to affect rising. Without it, 100% durum wheat breads are often heavy, with very close grain, and will split easily when risen for baking. Genealogy, durum wheat is a tetraploid wheat, having 28 chromosomes, unlike hard red winter and hard red spring wheats, which are hexaploid and have 42 chromosomes each. Durum wheat originated through intergeneric hybridization and polyploidization involving two diploid grass species, Tierachu and epigenome diploid related to Edulops speltoids and is thus an allotra traploid species. Uses, commercially produced dry pasta, or pasta seca, is made almost exclusively from durum semolina. Certain homemade fresh pastas, such as orochiette, cavatelli, and maloridus, also use durum wheat while others, such as tagliatelle, use only soft wheat, often no o, or a combination of soft and hard wheats. Husked but unground, or coarsely ground, it is used to produce the semolina in the couscous of North Africa and the Levant. It is also used for Levantine dishes such as tabula, kishk, kibber, bitfun and the bulga for pilafs. In North African cuisine and Levantine cuisine, it forms the basis of many soups gruels, stuffings, puddings and pastries. When ground as fine as flour, it is used for making bread. In the Middle East, it is used for flat round breads, and in Europe and elsewhere, it can be used for pizza, torti, etc. It is not, however, good for cakes, which are made from soft wheat to ensure softness. The use of wheat to produce pasta was described as early as the 10th century by Ibn Walshaya of Cairo. The North Africans called the product Etria, from which Italian sources derived the term tria during the 15th century. Another type of pasta, alfidosh, was popular in Al-Andalus. From there it was transmitted to Christian Spain, and it frequently appears in Hispano-Muslim cookbooks. From alfidosh was derived the Spanish word for noodles, fideos, and the Italian fideli or fidelini. In the American Great Plains, Durum wheat is used almost exclusively for making pasta products such as spaghetti and macaroni. Production Most of the durum grown today is amber durum, the grains of which are amber-colored and larger than those of other types of wheat. Durum has a yellow endosperm, which gives pasta its color. When durum is milled, the endosperm is ground into a granular product called semolina. Semolina made from durum is used for premium pastas and breads. There is also a red durum, used mostly for livestock feed. The cultivation of durum generates greater yield than other weeds in areas of low precipitation. Good yields can be obtained by irrigation, but this is rarely done. In the first half of the 20th century, the crop was widely grown in Russia. Durum is one of the most important food crops in West Asia. Although the variety of the wheat there is diverse, it is not extensively grown there and thus must be imported. West Amber Durham produced in Canada is used mostly as semolina pasta, but some is also exported to Italy for bread production. In the Middle East and North Africa, local bread making accounts for half the consumption of durum. Some flour is even imported. On the other hand, 
many countries in Europe produce durum in commercially significant quantities. Processing, durum wheat is subject to four processes, cleaning, tempering, milling and purifying. First, durum wheat is cleaned to remove foreign material and shrunken and broken kernels. Then it is tempered to a moisture content, toughening the seed coat for efficient separation of bran and endosperm. Durum milling is a complex procedure involving repetitive grinding and sieving. Proper purifying results in maximum semolina yield and the least amount of bran powder. To produce bread, durum wheat is ground into flour. The flour is mixed with water to produce dough. The quantities mixed vary, depending on the acidity of the mixture. The dough is mixed with yeast and lukewarm water, and then fermented for hours. The quality of the bread produced depends on the viscoelastic properties of gluten, the protein content and protein composition. References Bibliography, Brown, A.H.D. Marshall, Dr. Frankel, O.H. Williams, J.T. International Board for Plant Genetic Resources, EDS, The Use of Plant Genetic Resources, Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A0-521-34584-1, Bushick, W. Rasper, Vladimir F. Wheat, Production, Properties and Quality, Springer, ISBN A978-0-7514-0181-1, Cohen, Daniel, Globalization and Its Enemies, MIT Presser. Griggs, C. Wilfred. Amatiprius, Ruven. Morgan, David, The Mongol Empire and Its Legacy, Brill Publisher Sir. Donnelly. Ponty, Joseph G. J. R., Pasta, Raw Materials and Processing, in Culp, Carol. Ponty, Joseph G. J. R., Handbook of Serial Science and Technology, Food Science and Technology A Euro Marcel Decker 99, New York, CRC Press, ISBN A978-0-8247-8294-8. Matz, Samuela, 1972. Bakery Technology and Engineering, Springer, ISBN A978-0-442-30812. Taylor, Julie, Muslims in Medieval Italy, The Colony at Lucera, Lexington Bookser. Watson, Andrew, 1983, Agricultural Innovation in the Early Islamic World, The Diffusion of Crops and Farming Techniques, 700 Euro 1100. Studies in Islamic Civilization, Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A978-0-521-06883-1. Ishart, David J., Encyclopedia of the Great Plains, University of Nebraska Presser. External links, Durham Growers, USA. Durham Wheat Research, Grain Research Laboratory, Canadian Grain Commissioner.